Hi guys, we are again like the last video in a terrible matchup of Emilio is a really really strong matchup in 2 series. We're losing a lot these days, <laughs> maybe that's another lose. They have counter picked up, they have a good matchup mid lane, and we also suffer a lot with bot lane, so this game uh, might be hard. Now Emilio is really strong because Jovan has kind of the same range as Zeri, but he deals way more damage. Emilio is really well paired with uh, Draven, that's a really strong combo, because the only thing that Draven lacks is peel. For the rest he has damage, oh peel and range, so Draven gives in peel and range so we'll see how it's going so we will most likely don't have prio so when you don't have prio you have to respect the enemies and try to play as best as possible in a defensive way and we will follow the five rules we need to play accordingly to tempo it means that we need to adapt to our tempo basically if we have the tempo we should play on it and if the enemies have tempo we should uh, play on it also try to create tempo like a high tempo we, we will try to find the best basis possible and play on it if we have a good base we should manage to play aggressively and we and if we don't have better base than enemies we should also play accordingly to it. Yeah, the third rule is to play on our turn. It's the following of the one and two, but when we, it's our turn to play, we should play. And when it's the enemy's turn to play, we should play defensively. The fourth move is, uh, is about to not die. Uh, we should die the, as less as possible. And uh, the fifth one is to, to farm a lot. Uh, we need to take all the resources on the map, last it all the kills, and yeah. Let's go. Confiance pour mon désert qui gueule et en zizou dans les arrêts de jeu. Elle est dans la chambre, elle est sous les draps. I want AFK and my turret, but I will, uh, I will respect them and try to play on my windows. Be focus on this game if you're not uh, used to play from behind and you play into a bad matchup. Winning these days is kind of hard because there is not in a good state, so blinding her or picking her even in a counter pick which is never the case is kinda tough actually since they are not on lane we can maybe look to push too I think Draven is stacking some axes on blue never mind it's already here not bad that, that could have been way worse So we also get level 2 first. Okay, they got the ward so they level 2. I mean if they can get the push that's the best to, for us. Let's try. Nidalee is cross mapping, okay. Yeah, we do need to play really safe to keep our health bar up. Get the CS that we can. Draven will look to play the plates, so we try to thin the wave. Nidalee is invading the Vi, can has the first move. Nice. That's not bad. Nice. Oh, I leveled up my Q twice. I wanted my W. Won't change much. Draven would look to push for his passive. The issue is that we also are lose after level 6. So yeah, what you can do is just uh, <coughs> play the best you can and hope you that your team is not that bad. Not bad midlife on a trade. I'm moving.
Ok. Oh, we got a Ukon Milio. Big guy is here. Ok. That was messy, but we are alive. Ok, we're not. Drone of Lash, maybe we can kill him after, but... I slowed him, so he's dead. That's really good for me. Not bad. I'm gonna wait my noon kiver. It's fine. Oh no, I don't have it. Oh, bad E. Yeah, bad E. That's too many, too, too much time. Dragon is way stronger than me, still. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm sick, so sorry for my voice. I hope it's not too bad. <coughs> and a little throat sound. My aim is always to try to fin the wave uh, without uh, taking damage because he's pushing to get some plates and we don't want him to get plates. We got the ward. My trash doesn't understand that we don't have the matchup at all. Nice. Not bad. I think she's dead. Not really. Okay, I will stay since my team is looking to stay. Shoving the, the way for them, then I will raise. It's not too bad for me because I get my Noon Kiver Spike. And also, I'm playing for my team's play, but now I'm basing. They don't need me for this dive. Yeah, okay, take the lantern base. We're in trio in a bad matchup. Not bad, but even later on the matchup is bad because in team fights he's stronger. Draven Milio scales really well.
Missing bot. Figgy base for a spike. <coughs> That's not good. Okay, that's fine. Driven was no no wave. Just gonna shove this next wave and I will come. My alarm just ringed. Okay, I'm basing on my spike. Top is winning, that's good. In a counter matchup, I'm in Garen. I will fight Garen, so. I have my Storm so. What the fuck was that flash? Okay. Guess Garen is a bit tilted. Oops, Miss Wild Q on the pink. I'm level 9, he's level 7 in a really bad matchup. What can I say, guys? The rules, the rules are working. Also, this guy I know him is OTP driven, so there's no excuses. He just did a pretty bad wave management. Take a look at Garen account. Maybe Garen is a little boosted. He didn't get lucky, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, I had the same last uh, video if you want to see. Uh, my whole team was losing. Not much we can do in these games. Just keep your mental to be disciplined the next one. My bad. He also got a huge shutdown. That's not good what Jovan did here. He lost his slash. Okay, actually, Milio doesn't die, so that's not bad. And if Nidali dies, hmm. Well played. Hmm. 
Nice. He was FK, I punished him. They have two, two minutes to uh, 15 the last two videos, guys. Don't hesitate to join the Discord if you have any questions or you want to get some coaching. Let's see how many LPs do we got. Fourteen. Okay, let's play again. See you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.